Oh, so we live? Just posting that we live on your, uh, Instagram. Yeah. I was waiting since it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I finished my class late. That pure maths class went the full two hours plus. We was doing a hard question and that dream. I didn't even finish off that question. So that was a piece of gang study. So we'll see who if we if we have eight people here tonight, we good. Good night, Chelsea. Good night. Games are free. We shall. Brianna, thanks for waiting, Vendetta, everybody. Um, let me just bring up the chat. <coughs> nice. I'm create a projector here. Create source projector. So you're gonna do more maths? Yeah, the maths coming in. Remember, maths is my number one thing. Eh? Maths teaching from my mind. I don't really need textbook. Eh? Maths, maths, safe, 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 safe. So Matt's coming later down. I have my crash course. You could sign up to that. Anybody who's still interested in signing up to the crash course, I know we have a little, we have lots of people in the crash course. Eh? Um, and I feel like everybody know about the crash course, but taking it for granted. 868-790-8813. Write that number down. WhatsApp it tomorrow. You can WhatsApp it from now, but they will respond tomorrow and give you the whole procedure to sign up. It's only I need to understand. How cheap a crash course like this is 200 TTV average course for a crash course is like 600 three times that price so we're going to and a crash course the average crash course is about nine ten hours this crash course will be at least 16 hours four days in the April holidays a going and be vibes so get down into this maths crash course also available is the ad maths crash course this one is for the more, you know, AdMath students. I think this, the AdMath Crash Course, is 400, right? The AdMath Crash Course is 400 TT. Because, you know, AdMath is LLC. So the AdMath Crash Course is 400 TT, and this happening from when, boy? I think this happening from the Saturday. Saturday, the first Saturday in the holidays. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Manny King, good night, sir. I thought you forgot. Vasudev, hey, what's this scene? Um, Kyle. Blessings, Kyle. I know Kyle long time. Shane, Shan. So I say we talk about CSEC first. Now I need to do that a separate video. I might do that tomorrow. So have, so have some updates and some things we had to talk about. So good night. Is the government going to cancel CXE? All right. No. No. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you two things that will never happen. Next thing it happened, <laughs> and I say it's going to never happen. One, canceling CXE will never happen. What can happen is it could maybe be postponed. You hear what I'm saying? Or push back. I just seen this based on my observation of what happened in the past and how I know CXEs operate. If CXEs is cancelled, lots of people will lose money, lots of people will get paid, all kind of thing going on up there, going to be a real CXE operating budget is something like, I think it's 50 million. 50 million. CXE is, like, if you're going to the finances of CXE, your, your mind will be blown, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so CXE now we're not going to cancel. So if the virus started to get out of hand and it's keep going on and on, they'll push it back. Only we had to go to this, so we had to get into this, uh, aluminum extraction, sorry, and iron extraction. So like if you're watching already with you now and you want to go straight to the point, just skip ahead, right? Double tap, double tap, go up until we start. I'll probably put it in the comments. But CXC being cancelled, not an option. Do you do geography? Yes. I need to recheck the syllabus because I don't teach geography in school now. So I need to update myself on the syllabus to make sure everything in our order. Um I told us physics tonight, nah nah nah. Uh, I think it's chem, chem. Chem is what we agreed on in the end, then. Right? Yeah, but physics coming true. Physics is my pet subject. Kind of hoping they push it back. I personally just want them to get it over with. Because again, real time, again, these weeks to study and thing, get it over with. Right? And if you push it back, it will start to change up our holidays and everything around. So that is one thing. And the second thing that will never happen that people keep talking about is use 
SB Mac. And the reason why I know this will never happen is because it will undermine the validity of the grade for 2020. So, <laughs> excuse me, those kind of stuff. So, if you if you um if you, you just use the SVM mark, you know how much ones and twos will be flying. So um, I mean you got one in in math, you got one in chem, you got one in this. It's really ma matching up to your real potential. They would not do that. So so all you could stop saying that people keep saying this, spreading this, messaging this, typing this in the chat. This not happening. Canceling of CXC not happening. Postpone or push back, or it may remain or same date. Right, the virus could ease up after we go to globally. After it sort out, we try to sort out, and we could get it thing on. When you're doing maths again, go on my Instagram. You'll see any crash courses for my maths class. I'll be doing maths then. I might do some sprinklings of maths in between. So that's when I'm doing maths. Um, um, physics. This man saying I thought it was physics and I for the last ten times. <laughs> Physics, we'll do physics tomorrow is Wednesday. Tomorrow at around 9. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Tomorrow I have a class from 7 to 9. Maths. I might do that class public. That's a private maths class, but I may just do it public. Just to show you all how the online classes, and that class has been running since June. People in that class already write exams in January, get the one, get the distinction and roll up. So if you are struggling with maths, or if you are aiming to merit in maths, join my online class. Join any online class now is a scene because now you have to pay 500 registration fee because you're going to get all the videos from before. So if you want, you can just join the crash course. It's up to you. It's up to you how much money you have, how much corona economy money you have. Do that, right? I don't want to put people out to be like taking advantage or anything like that. So, um... That is enough that, uh, of that. So, what is the time now? How much time passed? Eight minutes already. I'll let you get into this. Extraction. Why is any chat if you're ready to do? Why is any chat if you're ready to do some extraction, man? Which one are you gonna start with? Are you gonna start with aluminium or or, or iron? Aluminium or iron? I don't like the. Are you, are you seeing this diagram? Let me see if you see me writing in this diagram. But yeah, definitely everybody here, I would advise you to sign up for my crash course. You see it right before the exam in well position. People who do the my January crash course doing back the May crash course. Yeah, so let's see now. Let's see now. Once your phone is not really like a blue or anything. <laughs> you see now. You see now. All right, then they're good. All right, so we started. Oh, you want to start with the iron? Iron, all right. Let me get a picture from the iron. I don't know any pictures for iron, boy. Iron in the dance. Let me see if I can get a nice little picture. I don't want to stop thing on it for iron. Iron for the people. Um, iron, iron. The blast furnace, now. Blast furnace. That's what I'm looking for. Blast furnace. I don't want the, I don't want the one that from, from keep. I don't want all the extra stuff. That's why you want, want what you all need. The CXC. I want that extra thing here. I just had a, hey, 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 calm down, calm down. I just had a, um, So here's an image of a blast furnace. So when you're thinking blast furnace and you see the diagram, my phone is up. And you see the diagram, this is what really going on here. So this is your blast furnace. Blast furnace. So look, I have a pretty picture to watch why I pull up a nice um, annotated diagram. Oh, God. Come through now, my brother. Um, all I need to know temperatures, thing. No, I, I 
memorize this entire diagram, draw it back, and we're going to practice. Tonight is a revision study with me session. Um, 127 squad, I have done the whole of organic chemistry. Just search Cohen Springer Organic Chemistry, everything done on the channel for you. And that's pre recorded video, so it's in a niceness, um, nice quality, high HD camera, pour real energy into them videos. Well, yeah, sorry for taking so long to find this thing, but I was really preparing for the. Um, I was really preparing for. All these seasonal temperatures. Um, you know, I just get a nice little blank diagram and we got we to fix them up just with Dory about it. Right, this diagram kind of blank. We were, we were putting me on information. Don't worry about it. Looking like rust from Call of Duty. <laughs> whatever it takes to rem remind you, whatever it takes to remind you. So there's the diagram here. Boom. Well, you seeing that, right? Um, from a book here, I'm up here on maths. Gage, more chemistry book here. Trying not to get the book in the, cam in the camera. Um, good. Ready to start. So, um, extraction of iron. I hope your book out and your writing. I taught the whole of a, uh, yeah, if I'm teaching the whole of an organic chemistry, yes, that's my aim for this year. Catch, you catch, you, you figure out this secret day. So this is the extraction. So extraction, boys, extraction of the solia iron. So iron is Fe. So when we, when we look in, we did all of organic chemistry already. When we're looking for iron, what we find by iron ore. How do we find iron ore? Somebody tell me in the chat. So we're gonna learn it off. Um get the nitty-gritty and then organize that. See how much we memorize. This is a study session. This is like a preparing for your exam ahead of time, so you get something. Um When we see iron ore, what do we get? What's the name of it? Yes, so Chelsea telling you the right thing. When we get iron ore, yes, it is impure, but what do we call the iron ore? Let me see if I could find some images, you know, them images, but you know, when you're reaching, when you're reaching secondary school, they stick out all the pictures of their textbook and <laughs> like primary school and like, but it's how we learn. Imagine you're learning like that all the time and they come now and they tell you, yeah, you just gain your start words and equations, brother. Boom. Hematite and magnetite. Yeah, it's something like Pokemon. <laughs> uh, that's all, yaddy. Boom. That's all, yaddy. So, who, who it with that? Franklin. Franklin, come through. <laughs> Hematite. You spell that correct, boy? Well, you know spelling is not my strong point in this in these chemistry. Aren't it? Hematite and... Where are you? Magnetite. Let me get the formula so that both of them. We can just stick with these sooner. I, I don't know about that. Um, that would just destroy uh, <laughs> uh, The first one is Fe2O3. And the next one is Fe3O4. <clears throat> What's the charge of iron in these boys? Just for kicks. Let me see if you can figure out the charge. Bro. So O is 2, so this is like 6 negative, so this has to be 3. So this is Fe3 plus here, right? 
all of these little extra activities will help fe3 plus and o is two so this is like eight and hmm And this is I am two and I am three involved here. So maybe I have so maybe I have maybe I have two. I don't know for sure. So we have put we have put F E. So probably somebody a seasoned camp teacher can tell you for sure. But we have these two soldiers involved inside this. One is F E two, one is F E three. Um right, so the O. This is we starters now. We start a product. Now I remember the let's take a little recap of the reactivity series. We need to know this for a reason. Because tonight we're just gonna do the extraction of aluminium and the extraction of iron. But the reactivity series now for the exam, remember what you say? Please stop calling me a zebra. I don't remember that from last night. Instead, learn how copper saves gold. So potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, all right, iron, iron, lead. This is where hydrogen comes in the dance. They put you in a standard color there. Um copper, silver, gold. All right. Now, this is important. So you all remember this from last night. This is important. This You have to learn this, right? Don't, don't, don't think you could get away with not knowing this. You have to know this. This is going down in order of reactivity. The most reactive here, right? Potassium. Please stop calling me a zebra. Instead, learn how copper saves gold. Um, why is this important for knowing the extraction? Well, these guys could only be extracted via electrolysis. Electrolysis. You see them so in love with. Please stop calling me as the brands and then our capacity is good. Right, right. So people learning, learning. That saved me a multiple choice last time. <laughs> These guys could only be extracted from their ores by electrolysis. And I find I can get smaller right about now. And I realize I'm taking up all the screen. Yeah. Now, right here, we want to squeeze in somebody. Can somebody tell me who we're going to squeeze in in the, elect in the reactivity series here? What atom we want to squeeze in here? Because these fellas, uh, you really need to extract these. <laughs> these by themselves. These limin. Pure. We could find them in their pure state, by and large. Even copper, no. but let me, let me include copper. What are we going to squeeze in here? What are we going to squeeze in here? And it's important because now we could we could get these from there or um, via something else there. Oop, uh, How we extract. So go ahead. Tell me what's going in there. How we extract. So to extract the first people, we need that electrolysis because them just so in love with whatever they attach to their ores to get them out. Then you can actually need to drop some electricity on them now. So All you are doing it to them, all you are doing it to them, or we just take on hematite <laughs> and magnetite, right? Let me, let, me be, let me be real out here. Yeah, so Chrissy said it right. We're going to put in carbon inside here because carbon, carbon, this is where carbon fits in the reactivity series. So it means to extract these, we can extract them by reducing with carbon reducing with carbon reduction with carbon 
All right, so why is it in chat if you understand that? So how long you start the lives? Not too long, not too long. So we just really and truly, that's all the, all the slides. We didn't do aluminum mint. People voted to do iron first. So we talk about the iron ore, hematite, magnetite. We know their formulas, fe 203 We know that magnetite like is a mix, boy. These Pokemons them. And now we are in the reactivity series here. So carbon fits right in the reactivity series because it can reduce these. Um, we can get these back, the, extract the metal um, by reduction in carbon vibes. So let me go back to the, the diagram that we annotate in here. So basically this whole blast furnace is just reduction with carbon. Hey, why is it not coming up by right? Hmm. Interesting. My um my thing stick. Back forward. All right. What going on here there? This is the first time this has ever happened. All right, they come back. Hmm. I'm playing this like that. All right. So some weird things happening here, people. All right. So let let's get into that. I find it taking a little too long. So yeah. So um steps steps. Let's do one, two, three, four, five. Five main steps. Five steps. Um, it, was this how I learned it by five steps? Five steps. One. What's the first step? We add. Um, the iron ores. We add in the coke. What is coke? And we add in the limestone. Sir, please post this after. I will. My, my thing's sticking. So how am I going to solve this problem now? Maybe if I close this, open it back. Well, if it's sticking, we might have to restart and wait tomorrow. Boom. Well, let's send up a lepers. Let's send up a lepers. So, open back. This one. It open in. Are you seeing anything? Nice. All right, so we're not getting it. Sorry about that. The mixture of iron, or coke and lime, so now added from the top. So we add in, add to top. Okay, so we add in that to the top of the furnace. So I'm just going to draw this and put it in the top there so we get a little diagram. So I might remember that. So that's the first thing. Second thing. Oh, where's coke? Somebody say what, what coke is? Coke is the carbon, right? So coke, we could say coke here is not the drugs. That's the carbon. And where's limestone? Where's the formula for limestone? Why is they doing that? Let's bring in number two. What's happening in number two? Somebody didn't see the formula for this one. Calcium carbonate. Mm. Um. 
at a bottom at any bottom of the fence, right? So you can just do so, draw a little diagram there. Um, let, me make, let me make this a little wavy. All you have to check and see how much you all remember this afterwards. Eh? So, you pay me hot air now. Right, so hot air. All right, um, number three. What happened in number three? Yeah, I do in your life, I do everything. <clears throat> what happened in for number three? So number three, we have in our first reaction. What is the first reaction? So we didn't have people in the chat to give anything. So we do need to have five step one, two, three, four, five. First step we add iron or z I put plural s here because this was this was the fe 203 and fe 304 right that was the os that was the os yeah cook burns in air to form carbon dioxide right so let me write that instead instead of write instead of saying that oh i forget to tell people to press like on the video most important thing press like on the video press like um so that more people will see it now and that it will get boosted even after it posts it will get boosted um in the next step instead of instead of saying it like rt there we will just write the formula coke plus a so we just bring the oxygen from the air to form carbon dioxide. Now we're going to put in our symbols because we don't want to play with that. We we'll say gas, the coke here, solid. This is the carbon. And we bring gas here. Now, an important thing to write is an important thing to write. Let me see if this pen should. Delta H negative. Now, why are you writing that? Because I'm gonna come across a little bit, come along a little bit, and you can still see me, and you can still see me, I'm still visible. What's the what's the fourth step? Oh, you want to you want to put in the where what? Degree this happen so is <clears throat> four temperatures we want to remember 800, 1500, and 1900. So 800, 1500, 1900. So this is this one happens at the 1900 degrees Celsius. So we can just note that too. Now the delta H negative step four. People hit me the step four already. Like penny step four. Now how I remember this is that this guy here. So I'm going to just give him a light highlight. Oh, <laughs> I say light highlight, and it went to the darkest of the dark. Right. So that carbon dioxide, we're going to put him back here. Right, carbon dioxide. That carbon dioxide. Going to react with more coke. So a lot of coke involved in the dance. To form um, the carbon monoxide. And this is the dude we want to do the reduction with. He is who going to attack the iron. <laughs> um, let, let me keep the color coordinates here in a way. Um, solid, no gas, carbon monoxide gas, gas, right, so you catch this drive, you catch this, right, this, this, this is coming along here, and it's going to react with more carbon to form the carbon monoxide, are you feeling that, why is any chat if we good so far, we're going to test our memory on this, 
So that's why I put in little, these little thing, thing to help us remember every day. Um, this happens at about, all right, so I'm gonna put the temperatures on the next sign because I will start to block the temperatures. I don't want to block the temperatures. Boom, you go there. What temperature does this happen at? <laughs> what temperature does this happen at? So this needs to you need to remember that this is the bottom, this is going up to the middle and then we're going up to the tippy top top. So what's next? Right, so the temperature here is 1500. Beautiful. And at the top, we're going to have the reduction happening here with the carbon dioxide. So two reactions you can remember. Two reactions you can remember. And as soon as we finish this, this is where you want to test yourself. So five. The coke now that we just made. Well, we could well, we could color coordinate this coke with by color we didn't really use it. Um orange. Yellow. It got yellow there, brother. So this car did I say coke? Carbon dioxide. Carbon monoxide. Then reduces the iron. Yeah, so carbon monoxide. So the carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide, gas, gas. It's going to reduce it to form the iron. Let's put the iron here. Let's put the iron here. So three cap. Well, we will balance it after. We have to balance it ourselves. And carbon gas here. Here. And Fe2O3 and Fe3O4. I'm not even doing chemistry. And you're here, yet you are here. And this is our, well, molten state, liquid. Liquid, right? So this will be so hot, it will be liquid. Wait, I remember doing this. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. All right, so the numbers here. Uh, first thing you can watch the iron the iron is by itself so this will obviously be at two and the oxygen is good no the oxygen is not good we have we only have two here but we have four here so how are we doing this? Let's not mess up the iron right now. So let's deal with this. Let's say, let's say, uh, how much you want? One, two, three, four. Let's say I give you a two here. What will happen to you? I will need two of you. So I'll end up with an odd number. I'll end up with an odd number. So I can't do that. So I have to put three. And is that what I'm doing? So I put three here. We're not balancing. So three, three carbons. We have a three, three carbons now. Three of you, three of you, six. So we end up with the even number and three by two, six. So this is it. Similarly, you'd find that this one is four, four, three. Three to get that. Same, same logic. All right. So now afterwards for your exam, you could just memorize. You could just, and I like to, I like to test myself in memorizing as much as I can. Anything that I could, anytime I see a pattern, put it into memory. So three, two, three, four, three, four. So even if I start balancing, it in, balancing it in the exam, I'll remember. All right, yeah, it had a nice little pattern like that. Three, two, three, four, three, four. If this equation pops, if it pops. 
So um, I think we put in everything here except we didn't put this solid state. And I end up putting these states in that basewa solid. Everything is good. Everything is good. So this is the end. All right. So now we need to describe this. Because mm, 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 mm. you could get asked to describe this. So you, after you do the equations, you describe this and you might get a six max or something. Come on. So we add iron ores, the hematite, the magnetite, the coke, the limestone to the bottom of the to the top, through the top of the furnace, sorry. That will fall to the bottom, right? And hot air is blown in from the bottom. It's a blast furnace. So you like that fire and you put sending out the air. Sending in the air, right? So you have fire, air. Hot air coming through. And this hot air. Um the coke reacts with the oxygen to produce carbon dioxide. Coke react with the oxygen to produce carbon dioxide. Then the carbon dioxide, this the carbon dioxide goes up. You finish the carbon dioxide reacts with more coke to form carbon monoxide. This carbon monoxide goes up even higher, and this reacts with the iron ore to form iron and carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide now could come back here and react with more coke. You see, you see, you see, there's a kind of vicious cycle here. So that will help in the efficiency of things. So we have more carbon dioxide that can join up here. Right? Any questions? Why why is in each other for the okay with that? We still have one more part of this to learn. Still have one more part of this to learn. So that is here. So this is the this is where the 90. This is the, the first reaction. Coke plus the oxygen. Coke plus oxygen to form carbon dioxide. This is the second reaction. Carbon dioxide. <laughs> and this is the third uh, up here where we have the ores being reduced by the carbon monoxide. The carbon dioxide will come back down and, and join up in this again. Vibes, vibes. This is already hot air coming. Now the iron we get from here will fall down because it's molten and it will come off here. But it will be impure, it will have some carbon in it. So um, that's the pig iron. That's what they call pig iron. Right? Where's the oh yeah, so about let's let's address that this you know. So this is the main body here. I, I think so let's do the cap. Let's talk about the limestone. About the limestone. We have some reactions to remember this. What is the purpose of the limestone? Why see all do that? Let me just change this color to that. Um, background to normal. What is the purpose of the limestone? Minimize this. There, and you see seeing that good. Throw back in this furnace over here. So, um, number four, number three is here. Two is, I'm um, sorry, four is here, and five is there. All right, so to recap, that is how the blast furnace is looking in real. We're starting off with the iron. Then we have the whole series of things that goes on with the cook. So that, that's on the next page. Then we need to learn the whole series of things that goes on with the limestone. So it's like two sets, two sets of reactions that we need to learn with this, right? So the, let's talk about the coke one. We just did that. Now, the reason we did this reactivity, the reason we did this reactivity diagram here was to find the location of carbon because there's electrolysis. <laughs> I feel we might just do iron tonight because I'm running out of energy. That pure must drain me, but 
the carbon cannot reduce these. Carbon in, in nano business dealing with these guys, but carbon can reduce these. You could do a little thing, carbon um, and let carbon monoxide take place. Um, so this is the all the reactions. This is your whole, this is the max here. This is your max, apart from the limestone part. This is the max. And you must be able to state this. Memorize this as five steps is my advice to you. So after you finish this live in the morning or if not right after if you had a drive, write back over all of this from memory. Draw back this from memory, right? Without watching to test yourself. Um, so the purpose of the limestone. The limestone is to remove impurities. We have two, two equations to just learn that. What is the first equation? Right, so, so Chelsea on the, on the money here. Limestone is needed to remove impurities. Right, so let's write that. His job is to remove impurities. Now we still end up with some impurities there, eh, but by and large, he's taking, part of, taking care of a good bit of the impurities, right? And how does the limestone remove impurities? The limestone decomposes in the furnace to form calcium oxide, then it reacts with the impurities to form slag. Beautiful. So limestone, as soon as it's dropping in at the top, the heat will decompose it. This is a solid. And it will form calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide. And we just love carbon dioxide inside here. Because the carbon dioxide will go and find previous page. I'm sorry, previous page. This carbon dioxide going back to the previous page. And it will find some coke and form some more carbon monoxide for us. So that's good. More carbon dioxide is not a problem. And this calcium oxide reacts with. This calcium oxide would react with the silica. What is silica though? Limestone is added to remove the silicon dioxide so it does not build up any furnace. That's right, remove impurities. And the impurities that it's removing is the silica. What is silica? Silicon, silicon dioxide. Silicon dioxide. This is really like sand, right? Let me see if you can get a little image of this. You could Google silica. Silica, silica. Hey, that's my live stream. I'm going to turn off the live stream. Me. Silica. Out here for the people. Silica is sand. No internet. Did the internet cut? Are you seeing me? Why is in the chat if you still see me? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so you can Google that yourself. Let me just let me just finish up. Um before the internet really cut. So calcium calcium silicate. Yeah, calcium silicate. <clears throat> I remember in these things, why? This is in the liquid form, and this is slag. And we can use slag in roads. Slag have its uses as well. So we have a nice little byproduct. We have a nice little byproduct here. So <clears throat> that is that. Your state use. The reason this happened is because this is this is this is basic, and this is acidic. It's an acidic oxide. This is a non-metal. This is basic. This is a metal. So they react with each other to form calcium silicate, also known as slag. This runs to the bottom. The slag is less dense than the iron. Noted. Noted. Less dense than the molten iron. So this will, because it's less dense, what will happen? 
Oi, Ay, let's go back to our diagram. Lee. So because it's less dense, the slag will float on the iron. It will float. So we, when we tap it off here, we get the slag. When we tap it off here, we get the pig iron. Iron with some carbon in it. Hot air coming in through here. And that is the blast furnace for you. <clears throat> That's the blast furnace for weedy. So what I'm thinking tomorrow, I have... When we start some pass papers, because we do some pass papers, we do some pass papers and all that things. But we have to finish off. Let me finish off metals. So let me see what we have to do metals. We have we did all the characteristics of metals. We did by and large reactivity series and talk about displacement reactions, but we could go into that a little more. We just did um the blast furnace. Still have the extraction of aluminum to do. I kinda I kinda reach where I reach for tonight. I'll press like on the video. Um we need to talk about alloys, uses of metals, impact of metals. So we could probably do in one long video, one tour of video. Tomorrow I say we'll do some physics. So we could probably do physics and chem tomorrow, depending on how the end. No, no. We could only do one thing tomorrow. So what are we doing tomorrow? Physics or chem? Oh yeah, let me get some answers there. Physics or chem tomorrow. Are we doing physics or chem tomorrow? Is the chat still is everything still working? Why is everything sticking? Go we'll check my phone. Yeah, boy. Well, let me make the pick now. What time? So what time to look at it? I don't want to get your time and set it up. Um, so there very likely will be a public class. I will let my private class be public. Just because of Corona, some people might need it. This will be from 7 to 9. We will be doing statistics. This is maths. This is where we're reaching the maths class. What we will be doing in statistics, boy. Um interquartile range looking at bar graphs and histograms and it seems like you feel it's people around the show all right so we will lose some physics physics winning the argument me so chances are moving up this class could be an issue because a lot of this class is people who work in as well now. but i feel i can move this class to six to eight and from like eight thirty we could come through with some physics what topic in physics given you all problems? What topic in physics given you all problems? <laughs> Excuse me. What topic in physics given you problems? Let's finish the chem. We're going to finish the chem. We have plenty. We have time. I shouldn't say we have plenty time, but we have time. We're going to finish the chem. So we do physics. I need help with chem, but I'm fed up with it. <laughs> I'm not even doing chem, and I'm not fed up with it. So you can get fed up. You do it. You gotta get fed up. You can't, you can't get a fair point with it. All right, so the, actually the chem look like it was winning the physics. The physics started, it looked like it's one person was building up, you know, go to pardon, <laughs> go to pardon with the physics. One person was building up that physics numbers. Many of them decide physics, physics. For what topic in physics? Transformers. People is always say transformers, you know? You know how much time I do transformers? Um, so we can probably talk about transformers. Atom wave lenses. I see transformers the most so far. Two transformers. Thermal physics. All <laughs> pick 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 one. Pick one. Transformers. Hydrostatics. Magnetism. Wave. Alright. 58 of you all here. Don't forget to press like on the video. I know some of you all just come press like on the video. We are about to close. Um, transformers. Okay. All right. So we'll just I'll probably try to prefer, most likely prepare some transformers. So you all, we may try to do some past papers in transformers as well to see how they come. Step down, step up, transformer, everything. Make sure and learn that for tomorrow. Do a little revision and that yourself. I'm not too sure if this class may happen. I mean, if it will happen publicly, uh, I still have to decide. But I'll do that public class because 
atom decay with calculations. So when I'm doing something, it needs to be something I can start it, start it and just finish off. So like if I do transformers, I might not start with transformers, I might start with electricity and run all the way up with electricity. If I start with light, I'll start all the way up and run with light. Because order is helping. Alright, so physics for tomorrow, A to T, see you all tomorrow, tell your friends. Oh yeah, take a snapshot before we go. Alright, which which picture looking good, boy? Well, let me make up all in mind here. I feel I feel like this is the best one. This looking alright too, you know. Take a snapshot. Let me make sure I have I'm in the best position for this snapshot. Right? So snapshot. <laughs> Post that on your WhatsApp, wherever. If you post it on Instagram and you want to repost it, tag me and I'll repost it. Um, and yeah. <laughs> so more people let know that. It'll share the message that, you know, you're killing it out here. A lot of, ever since this virus hit, a lot of teachers have gone online. So it's just like, I, like I've like i been preaching this for a whole two years now and now everybody online has like, yeah, we'll take a virus when it's reach online to see the power of the online studying. The, 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 the big power is the community in the chat and you'll see as it begins to build over a week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Oh, pause, pause with the picture. All right, then you get this stuff there. As it begins to build for the two, three weeks, you'll see how the revision is starting to get sweet. It's starting to get sweet. You'll start to look forward to it. So anyhow, Bless it.